Uh, I'm going to just give you the, the byline. Yeah. Well, there, are two, there are two errors when you think of trans identity. First error is the identity is valid, but you allow, you object to it completely, and you don't support it with medical and social services. Okay, that's error number one. Error number two is the identity is invalid. So when he's, somebody yeah. is invalid, the, the identity is invalidated, but just to be polite mm. and foster peace, you allow, uh, you allow acceptance. Even though they're gaming the system with their intersectional, infinitely defined gender pronouns, like aerogender. What? Aerogender is one of the gender fluids that, uh, that in, in any given social setting, you are the gender that most benefits you. That means Stop it. Mm -hmm. That's privilege. You that, that, that. That you, okay. It's gender privilege. Well, if you have, for example, health insurance and life insurance. Mm -hmm. okay. and, um, health insurance for women is more expensive, but less expensive for men. Oh. So life insurance is more expensive oh. for men, but less expensive for women because women live longer, but right. women have more utilization on the medical side. Right. So, there's a, there's, so, you, know, so you, you can switch it up. Right. You, you, <laughs> right. That's, Hold on, let me get an actual that, that creates a syntax uh, error in basic contract law. And if you break it down to uh, the origin of where this medicine comes from, this is a challenge mm -hmm. to the current medical ideology that is leaving, and I'm going to get a little political here with the yeah. feminism, is back in, medical insurance covered this in the United States between 1972 and 1982. And in 1978, uh, the lesbian organization Toronto, feminist, lesbian, radical feminist voted us out of the with a campaign to have our medical and social support systems turned off. By 1982, they were, uh, they completed it. No, here in the United States. Remember, feminism can, there's feminisms, not feminists. Right, but you said but, there was a group but, in Canada. Though. Right, but that's where they meet. Okay. Because a woman wanted to join the feminist circle over there, a trans woman who was right. a lesbian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they decided, no, you aren't women. Mm -hmm. But that became the feminist agenda. Feminist mm -hmm. agenda doesn't require borders. But they attacked, they attacked it in Canada, they attacked it in the UK, and they attacked it here. They were successful in turning off the intermodal supply chain of healthcare knowledge and services, killing 50,000 children and up to 200,000 adult adults. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Republicans, you blew this one. Yeah. Okay, that's called a genocide. I wasn't a Republican back then. So. The, uh, what you Je back then? Jesse Helms, Jesse Helms and William Alexander um, uh, encouraged their colleagues. This took mm. encouraged their colleagues to um, vote against the ADA to include protections for transgender people. And there's so many that died. That's and you can put this on the head of feminism. Mm. Now, that's who promoted this, and my body was ruined because I wanted to transition young by the time I got there. Now, this isn't the fault of the Republicans. They got their information from Janice Raymond, from a coalition. I mean, look at Gloria Steinem. She was on board with this. And about, about 19, you know, 2013, the gay community, the lesbian community, all decided to apologize, but they never talked about why. That's oh, wow. why. Wow. They all lobbied to... to to shut down the social and medical support systems, and for trans people, for trans people, that's awful. So I that's used to work for the Office of Special Investigations. Yeah, wow. This is a clear multi-victim, multi-victim crime based on a fraud perpetrated by radical lesbian Marxist feminists. Mm. And I wonder why Republicans, guys, seriously, guys, you can slap a black mark of genocide. On feminism wow. right now. Wow. Why is nobody that opposed for? this? Because yeah. the liberal left media suppresses it. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're sparking up this whole thing. And we're talking about they said all transsexuals rape women's bodies. They what? look they, they couched a low resolution narrative within a high resolution the academic picked up language, which is typical pomo script, postmodernist script. They're mm. talking about that Marxist bullshit. Mm -hmm. And that's group guilt assignment, Marxism, mm -hmm. coupled with a false allegation of rape that killed 50,000 children. Oh my God. Okay? That's a shame. How come no one no one's talking brought this about up? It. No one yeah, talks about no one this. brings it up. 
Now would be a good time to bring it up with yeah. the midterms. Now would be a good time to inform voters. So go, uh, Democrats, this is all on you. Yeah, they need well, to well, do well, their history. Well, what what should they, what the Republicans, history. and everybody do well, from my, this point <coughs> forward? My, 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 I, look, trans identity was hijacked mm. in 2004, 2005. We had the Harry Benjamin standards in, in the United States. And then in order to meld our efforts with Lambda Legal, um, the Transgender Law Center was, you know, was formed. They knew this was going to come down at some point, so they changed it to WPATH. It was some kind of coup in order to insert this Marxist agenda of multiple varied genders ad infinitum, mm. ad to illogical. It, it's just, it it's just yeah. post hoc reasoning. Yeah. The vast majority of transgender people don't like these fluid gender identities. Is that true? I didn't know that. Yes. See, because well, we Jordan, never Jordan B. Together. Peterson talks about it all the time because this yeah. is his, his area of science. Yeah, yeah. Now, keep in mind, if you go back in time, the theory behind how this works is there's the, the uh, psychosexual, psychosexuality at birth theory versus the, psycho, uh, the new, psychosexual neutrality at birth theory. That means nature versus nurture argument. Mm -hmm. All the psychometric data points to, and you can read this in the DeMora memo, which conservatives are backing because there's a lawsuit between DeMora and Google, mm. um, oh, supports that we yeah. mirror the same psychometric data as, as women. Mm. But these crazy feminists see us as a jealousy. It's all about jealousy and resentment, and I don't understand it because some of us, some transgender women are some of the most beautiful women in the world. Well, I, 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 totally I agree. agree with that. Well, that's yeah. where the jealousy would be then. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. And and that's I, why I, they did it. And I have to be honest, being here in very liberal, liberal Los Angeles, maybe I'm in a bubble. But uh, You're in a hive mind here. You're stuck at it. Especially if, if, here if, at if the, you the, counter the, any of their arguments, you will be crucified. Well, no, no, I'm not high countering it. Yes, high five. I have to, can I just I'm, say I'm, how brave you are? For being oh, I'll be crucified. Direct. I mean, you are. I'm, I'm a little disappointed at ScarJo for backing out of that movie. I, yeah, I, I, I'm I, so disappointed she backed out of that movie. See, this is when it comes to race, right? Because I am of mixed race. Mm -hmm. I am black on my mom's side, part Choctaw, Native American. On my dad's Ooh. side, I'm Italian and Argentinian. So I've got the black, I've got the Latina, I've got the Native American, you know, and I'm American. I mean, but I've never used my color as like, okay, so I should get something. You know, I'm a victim. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't, yeah, there's racism out there, but everybody That's goes through That's a soft racism stuff. of low expectations. That's yeah, I don't go out there expecting anything, just yeah. like I don't go out there expecting sexism. But I got to say, what they're doing with gender, right, is what they're doing with race now. It's like everybody, right, with Elizabeth Warren trying to claim rights as a Native American. Yeah, I mean, what was the Cherokee Nation that said she's full of shit? <sighs> It's so well, she, ridiculous. Well, this is PC rights? culture. Well, she was trying to be well, like... she benefited she's from it. She benefited as a minority hire mm -hmm. at Harvard. Trust mm -hmm. me, she did. Yeah. Because there's no evidence of it. And she's no, she, 1.1 million. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. She's in the Harvard record. It's in the she public took took record. The, she took the DNA test. So she took the DNA test because... But she never apologized. She never backed out and said, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Listen, a lot of people... She took the DNA test. She never backed out and said, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Listen, a lot of people in America, I can say in black culture, we think we're something. We're told we're something. We think 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 we're something. DNA test. Oh, we're just Polish, not Jewish. Whatever. Right. I understand that, but you, if yeah. you've used it to get something, and she's used the hell out of that, you need to apologize. You need to now uh, make amends to the Native American community, and you need to stop running. You need, you need to stop being a senator. Honestly, you should resign. Yeah, I'm, I'm part Paiute, by the way, and right. I know you mean use that. It's just, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a scarce. It's, it's there's, there's for my grandma's. Right. I, I, I what I was going it. to say is like maybe crazy. I'm in a bubble. I'm in Los Angeles. Yes. Very liberal community. Yes. Oh, yeah. The feminists that I know, and we're at a, a, a self, uh, self described. If you dare touch your arm narrative, we will I, destroy I, I, you. No, 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 no. I, 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 I have. True. I have. I, the feminists that I know, or the, the self described feminists, mm -hmm. uh, have always been for trans rights. And well, you have to understand yeah. that they Is weren't back then. Is it just Los then. Angeles? Or, yeah. No, no, they weren't back then. They're only doing it because it's popular to do so because uh, yeah. they've learned that, well, we better jump ship. Keep yeah. in mind that creating an alternate feminist identity turf is only a malapropism to give someone plausible deniability because in the past you were all on board with it. I mean, or, do you think or, Gloria Stein? No, there were no turfs back when this happened. You won't see that acronym any time in the or, past. Or is it? Or is it people? People are learning. Or people, no, people are reading, reading, uh, and 
befriending trans people. We're talking about criminal intent here. Right. We're talking about malum in se, which is mm. because it is right. evil. This but I'm, I don't, talking, I, I'm talking about today, 2018. We're talking about the past and a big pile of dead bodies. Right. No, I understand. And you're, in pro you're, you're talking to a criminal investigator right now. I understand. Okay. This, this is how serious this is. No, I, I know. Mm. Now, 